Hello everyone. So welcome back to the course on architectural design of ICs. So in the last classes, we are uh, last two classes, we are basically uh, describing or we are just seeing the architecture of coding. So uh, using the coding, uh, the use of pseudo rotation. Okay, uh, we basically the coding algorithms is became simpler or it becomes um, simpler in terms of hardware cost because of this use of the pseudo rotation or because of the pseudo rotation again it causes that means this uh, this um, 2 to the power minus i angle rotation which is predefined okay so based on that now any angle can be calculated okay so what i said that and how we can calculate that also we have seen in the last class. So, whenever we are calculating or we are introducing this, uh, um, this pseudo rotation in the cortical algorithm, there is some of the side effects of that or some of the factors which are being associated. So, what is that? What, uh, what is that? That means effect, or what are those effects which is basically has been introduced because of this considering the fact of this uh, pseudo rotation, and we have seen that this the in the circular rotation, though it is uh, this magnitude of r becomes r dash in the pseudo rotation that has been increased, increased by a factor. So, that is basically known as scaling factor. Okay. So, now we will see what is that scaling factor and what is the value of scaling factor, how it is being calculated or how we are getting or why this scaling factor is introduced in the cordic algorithm. So, that we will see now. Okay. So, the scaling factor is a byproduct of the pseudo rotation. So, what I said? And we have already seen that in the that means graph we have seen because of the pseudo rotation from the original circular, circular rotation as this uh, the corresponding vectors that has been increased or that means the magnitude of the vectors that has been increased. Okay. And when simplifying the algorithm to allow the pseudo rotation in the cos theta term was omitted that also we have seen. So, thus the outputs x n and y n are scaled by a factor k n, where k n is the summation of 1 by cos theta i. Why this is being scaled? Because we have omitted, why? Because the equation is cos theta into x 1 minus y 1 of 10 alpha i. So, we are in this particular whenever we are considering the fact in the uh, that's that uh, in this uh, codic. So, at that time we have omitted the cos theta terms, we have considered only this x i minus y i of tan inverse tan inverse of this alpha i, where alpha i we have again that has been we have considered that as d i into 2 to the power minus i to make that only shift and add based logic. Okay. So, that means because of this omit, omit, omitting this cos theta terms, so that will be gathered together. So, this will be gathered together for how many times or how many iteration I have done. So, as I have done i number of iteration, so that means the, uh, that means the output of this x n and y n that will be scaled by the factor of k n equals to summation of 1 divided by cos theta i which is nothing but d, that means the square root of 1 plus 2 to the power of minus 2 i. So, why this is? Because here that is 10 square alpha 1 plus this cos square theta means what? Square root of 1 plus 10 theta. So, 10 theta again that has been we, how we have considered that is a, the in terms of 2 to the power minus i. So, 10 square means so that is 2 to the power minus of 2 i. Okay. So, however, if the number of iteration are known then the scaling factor k n can be pre computed. So, that means as I know this how many that means how many stages I will use this i. 
So, the scale factor also I can compute by using this equation ok and apart along with that 1 by k n can be pre computed and used to calculate the true values of x n and y n. So, how we can calculate because whatever value I will get x n and y n that are being scaled by the factor of k n. So, k n I know or I can calculate using this equation as I as I know these values of y then the original values of x n and y n that can be calculated divide by k n because that has been this this computed from the quadratic algorithm whatever x n and I, y n I am getting that has been scaled up by the factor of k n. So, now I have to scale down that. So, 1 by k n it will scale down to its original value ok. So, this is the scaling factor this is being introduced because of this pseudo rotation or this omitting of this posterior term ok. So, uh, now if I say that to simplify the given rotation we remove the cos theta terms to allow us to perform the pseudo rotation. However, this simplification has a side effect and thus the output values of x n and y n scale by the factor would the same logic whatever I am telling you. And the that means, if I consider that n, n ok that means, up to infinity the values will be k n values will be 1.6476. So, 1 by k n equals to what 0 0.6073 ok. So, now considering this fact considering this fact we can basically run the codec in the two mode ok. So, one of the two modes we can run. So, this is the basic equation if I just consider the that means, how can I calculate the corresponding values. So, initially what is happening? So, this is the starting. So, initially you see y value is 0, but the as this is the position if I consider this is the initial vector. So, in this particular x value will be what? x value is just nothing but 1 by k and that means, from the beginning what I am doing from the beginning I am putting the values of k n that is 0 0.6073 instead of 1 over here. So, if I put 1, so that means, that will be the whatever results I will get that will be scaled by the factor of this 1.6476. So, instead of doing that if I put instead of 1 if I put that as 0 0.6073. So, I will get the values something the original values of x and y at the after the tenth iteration ok. So, the same angle for 30 degree how we we have calculated at the time we have not calculated this x and y value. So, x and y value I will get as 0 0.5006 over here and 0 0.8657 over here. So, that means, this is the corresponding values of sin theta and cos theta that means, sin 30 and cos 30 ok. So, what we have to do we if we actually this is whatever we are doing considering this fact this is basically rotational mode I am doing or this mode is basically known as rotation mode. Now, I can run this in the vectoring mode the same algorithm I can just change it in a different form. So, that it will be on the that means, it will be run on the or it can calculate or it can compute different function where the mode is basically known as vectoring mode. So, initially in this in the rotational mode in the rotation mode the sign d i that is dependent on what? that is dependent on the z whatever is the sign of z that basically defines this x and y, y that means, in which direction in x and y will be varying. So, that basically defines at that time in the rotation mode, but in vectoring mode 
the, that means the, the di value is basically changed based on this sign of x i y i. Okay? To make this y n to 0. Okay? So, y n to 0 if we do, so at that time this x n will become square root of x 0 square or that means this will be x i square plus y s square uh, whereas this z n will be as this z, z i plus tan inverse of y i divided by x i. Okay? So, how we can do if we just consider this another that means example of that. So, initially z i equals to what that is 0. Okay? So, here uh, at that time what we have considered that uh, z i value equals to 30 degree, but here z i equals to 0. So, the elementary angle first angle is 45. So, for that what is the y i that we have to calculate. Okay? So, that how we can calculate based on that particular equation now we can calculate that means after n iteration I will get. So, that means here now this particular d i now it will be changed based on the sign of x i y i. Okay? So, z equals to initial z we have considered 30 at that time, but here we are considering 0 at that time and the corresponding values of y will be noted in this particular case. Okay? So, uh, initially it is when z i equals to 0, so initially the y, y value will be 2, then 1, then that means in this particular case z i value is basically changed to another. What is the value? Okay. What is the value over here? That basically depends on the corresponding values of this y and x y and x means this is the tan inverse of y 0 divided by x 0. Means what? In the vectoring mode what I said that the decision operator d i obeys the condition of minus of x i y i. Right? So, initially you, you have to or you can calculate this tan inverse of y i divided by x i. So, if I put that y equals to y 0 equals to 2 and x 0 equals to 1 that means tan inverse of 2 what is the values of tan inverse to 2 that you can compute using this particular mode. So, initially y 0 equals to 2 then based on the equation this will be 1 based on this it will be 1 means if you just go back if you just consider that particular exam that means equation. So, it will be varying in this fa fashion and finally, whatever the error that means the value will be accumulated in z i. So, that is my value of tan inverse of this particular function. Okay? So, that means this circular coordinate system. So, this is basically known as circular coordinate system. In circular coordinate system, considering this pseudo rotation, in the rotation mode, whenever this d i is dependent on the sign of z i. So, if I put this three value x, y and z, where z is the input angle I am putting and x is the 0.6073, if I get then k value it will you, you will this at the output you will get this corresponding value which is this x cos theta and y sin theta. y value equals to 0 means y equals to 0 means. So, this is 0. So, x cos theta and in this particular location this x sin theta. Okay? So, that means what cos theta and sin theta I am getting from this particular coordinate. So, that is why we have put that y equals to 0 and x equals to 0 0.6073. If you put x and y, you can calculate x cos theta minus y sin theta, y cos theta plus x cos sin theta. Okay? 
So, but in the vectoring mode depending on the sign of x and y you ha you can get at the at the that means from the first output you can get square root of x square plus y square and in this particular it will be tan inverse of y divided by x. So, z initially you have put we have put here z in we have initially put as 0 means 0 that is tan inverse of y by x and here what we have done that is y equals to 2 and x equals to 1 right. So, at this particular point I will get what I will get k square root of 2 4 plus 1 that is 5. So, square root of 5 k I will get at that particular output that means the circular uh, coordinates or the circular codic if I run in the rotation mode I can calculate sin theta cos theta. In the vectoring mode I can compute this tan inverse of theta and then tan inverse of x by y uh, sorry y by x as well as I can also ca compute the square root of x square plus y square. Okay. So, that means that two fun sorry not three this this function if I require suppose for a particular function I require square root opposition. So, using this method I can calculate. So, square root of this means if I just put y equals to 0 means only x I will get if I put x equals to 0 only y I will get at that particular output. Okay. So, uh, is this that only uh, that means circular mode only or, or this um, codic can be used in the circular mode only this is not the thing we can compute different kind of that means arithmetic operation considering a, this rotation in this is circular rotation right. So, considering the fact on the other rotation other rotational method we can compute different function. So, what are what are those? So, this is the circular rotation and this is the pseudo rotation we are making. Okay. But, other coordinate system is that this linear coordinate system. Okay. So, linear coordinate system means it is from here and then from it is there and then hyperbolic rotation means the corresponding rotation that is follows this hyperbolic curve. In the linear rotation it follows this linear that means this this um, the change in this um, magnitude or in this vector that are in the it follows the linear rule. But here if it is follows this hyperbolic rotation so at that time this will be hyperbolic coordinate system. Okay. So, uh, the advantage of using this code other coordinate system with the codic algorithm is that it allows more function to be calculated, but the drawback is that the systems become more complex the that means circular rotation mode in the codic that is the simpler one. The set of rotation angles used for the circular coordinate systems are no longer valid when using the codic algorithm with a linear or hyperbolic system because circular codic mode the pseudo rotation method is only applied for the circular coordination code, that means circular rotation mode. It is not useful for the or that will not be used for the linear system or this linear that coordinate system or hyperbolic coordinate system. So, hence two other set of angles are used for the rotations made in this system. So, we will see that um, shortly. So, uh, that if we consider this particular equation as the basic base equation. So, circular in the circular that means here what we have considered that another term over here which is mu. Okay. So, mu is basically changed for the circular rotation mu is 1 means this equation remains same okay. and E i equals to tan inverse of 2 to the power i the pseudo rotation becomes tan inverse of 2 to the power i, but in linear rotation this mu is 0 that means only this y i and this z i value is changed there will be no there, there will be no term for this. 
and this E i value will be changed in the factor of 2 to the power minus i. But in hyperbolic rotation, this mu is minus 1, that means at that time this will be plus, and this E i will be calculated as tan inverse of tan inverse h minus that means tan inverse hyperbolic minus inverse of 2 to the power minus i. So, that means at that time this elementary angle will be calculated based on this hyperbolic of tan, that means tan hyperbolic, tan hyperbolic of this 2 to the power minus i. Okay. So, based on that, so we are getting three different that means in and again this rotation vector whatever consideration we are taking for the rotation vector, rotation mode and the vectoring mode that will remain same. That means, the corresponding sign that of d i that will be dependent on this z for the that, that rotation mode and for x i y i for the vectoring mode. So, that will remain same. Okay. So, then what, what are the that means, output I will get in the circular mode we have already seen, in the linear mode x will be x. So, in the y output in the that means, in the y output what I will get y plus x of j, x into z that means, the multiplication easily I can get or the multiplicative result I can get using this running this codec in the linear domain and f along with that rotational mode and I can get z plus y by x if I run that codec in the vectoring mode. That means, I can do multiplication as well as division if I run the codec in the linear coordinate system. If I run it for hyperbolic coordinate system, so at that time here what we are getting this is we are getting cos, but here we will get the function as cos hyperbolic and the again that for the pseudo rotation here I will get I will get the scale back scaling factor. So, here scaling factor will be different because the summation of the this uh, here that is not cos theta here it will be cos hyperbolic theta I will omit right. So, depending on that cos hyperbolic theta. So, here this particular function the corresponding values of k that will be changed and again whatever is the value of here. So, here we are getting tan inverse of y by x. So, here we will get tan inverse hyperbolic of y by x and here in the in this particular a x output what we are getting that is square root of x square plus y square. So, here what we will get here we will get x square minus y square square root of x square minus y square. That means, running the codec for diff, six different mode I can get different function to be implemented very easily which is cos theta, sin theta, tan theta, square root, then multiplication, division, hyperbolic function and then square root of here plus here minus. So, these are the function which we can compute using the codec running on different different combination. Okay. So, for hyperbolic what is the scaling factor? For hyperbolic the scaling factor is 0.82816, oh, so 1 by k n will be 1.20750. So, in case of uh, that circular rotation the k n value was 1.647 something and 1 by k n was 0 0.6073, but here you see this value is 0 0.8 to the k n value is 0 0.8 to 816 and 1 by k n is 1.20750. That means, the x will be given as 1.20750 to get the proper output at x and y. That means, the sin theta original sin theta and cos theta can be sin hyperbolic theta and cos hyperbolic theta can be calculated if I put x equals to this 1.20750 this value. Okay and where n is the number of iteration. So, uh, then again you can although this codec algorithms can only compute a limited number of functions directly, but there are many more other can be achieved indirectly. So, tan z can be calculated divide uh, using the sin z by cos z, then tan hyperbolic z 
you can calculate using sin hyperbolic z by cos hyperbolic z means what codec you run for to calculate the sin and cos you run that for circular mode circular in the circular that means this circular rotation mode you are getting sin and cos okay then again if you just if you just do this division means what you just put that value in this x and y if you put put sin and cos so sorry in this mode if you put x and y uh, that means uh, the sin and cos automatically you will get tan inverse of this at this particular output that means linear vectoring mode you will get tan z same hyperbolic then again linear vectoring mode you, you are getting tan hyperbolic z then this ln function that can be calculated as what tan inverse of h minus uh, tan hy hyperbolic inverse of w minus 1 divided by w plus 1. So, tan ln function can be can computed how? So, in this particular mode what we are calculating tan hyperbolic of y by x. So, y and x if I put as this w minus 1 and w plus 1. So, easily I can get this tan hyperbolic of sorry ln w. Okay. So, ln w actually this will calculate not only that apart from that we have to make that that output one bit left shift. Okay. So, to make it two of this. So, after that easily you can calculate this ln function. Then e to the power z function also you can calculate e to the power z function is sin hyperbolic z and cos hyperbolic z. Then this omega t can be called calculated then square root of w that also can be calculated. So, that means you can you can implement different kind of function if you are using the quadric algorithm. Okay. So, this is the beauty of quadric algorithm and that is why quadric algorithm has a vast application area for this. Okay. So, then uh, again what is the that means precision and convergence if we have to calculate. So, what is the precision for k bits of precision in trigonometric function k iteration are required. Okay. And this conversion convergence is guaranteed for circular and linear codec using angle in the range of 0 0.997 to minus 0 0.997 to plus 0 0.997. Why plus 997 to minus 997? Where from this particular terms comes? This particular terms basically comes from the elementary angle which we have considered. If you summed up all this particular that means elementary angle, elementary angle was 45, then 20, that means then 26.6, then 14.1, then 17.1s, 7 these angles if you just summed up, so you will get the values of 99.7. So, that is why this minus 99.7 to plus 99.7 any values of z can be calculated. Okay. So, now uh, then how can I ca co compute this um, 180 degree or that means more than this? We know the trigonometric property of uh, this sin cos or tan or this we know the trigonometric property. So, from that we can basically change the initial angle to another value which will which will be within this range. So, if you change and if you just put to your system, so automatically you make the corresponding arrangement that means, if there is a sign change or if the sign became cos or cos became sign. So, at that time that that means, that uh, modification you have to do uh, in the input side and the output side, but you can calculate any of the values which is basically covering the within the range that is minus 99.7 to 99.7. Okay. So, for angles outside this range use standard trigonometric identities. So, trigonometric identities we know. 
So, you, you change that on base, based on that and then you can easily compute that. Elementary rotation using hyperbolic codic do not converge okay, because hyperbolic function is totally different from the circular function, circular this codic method. So, convergence is achieved if certain iteration are repeated that is if i equals to 4, 13, 40. So, 3 k plus 1 is the that means if we chose that as a 3 k plus 1 that means so at that time there is a chance for this hyperbolic codic to be converged. Okay. So, uh, then for the FPJ implementation of the codic it depends actually whenever we have seen that uh, this two architecture which is the parallel one and which is the serial one. So, at that time you see there is a that trade off between speed and area right in one that area may be higher, but speed wise if I use pipeline. So, at that time speed wise it will be improved right. So, in uh, sequential or iterative the area wise it is minimized, but time wise it is time consuming because throughput wise it is lesser than the n times lesser by n times. Okay. So, then uh, a direct translation of the quadic equation is an iterative bit parallel design. However, bit parallel variable shift register do not map well into FPGS. So, this is on the aspect of FPGA implementation if we see. So, at that time these problems will come. Okay. But it depends on it depends on that means your consideration that what type of architecture you will choose what is the specification you have to meet first you have to consider or concentrate on that particular fact so to meet that particular constant how you will run your or how you will choose your architecture whether you will choose bit serial architecture that means one bit by one bit processing you require or all the bits together you require all the that means parallel architecture you require or the serial architecture you require. So, it depends upon your corresponding specification and specification is totally different for different different application. Okay. So, depending on your particular work you have to be choosy one which particular that means which architecture you will choose for the implementation of your hardware. Okay. So, here uh, means in this particular um, in, in this course what I am trying to give you just the overview of the architectures. It is not that only this um, that means whatever architecture I am I have just shown two or three architecture. So, this is that only this uh, architecture for codec is there it is not the fact there are so many architectures are available for implementing the codec. This is a basic concept of codec. Now, you can modify your architecture in order to improve the performance of the codec. So, how to improve or, or what will be the idea that is totally dependent on you. So, for that reason if you just want more that means more information or if you just that means more. Um, you are looking more for this particular area that means only the codec architecture. So, at that time you just google it or you just you also can let me know that okay, I need more information or I, I am more um, con need to be concentrate on this particular codec architecture. So, at that time I can also share the uh, available literature with, with you or the ideas also if you are having it then we can you can also discuss with me. So, with that um, thank you for today then again we will uh, try to see uh, one or two of the architectures new architectures how people have developed and what are the advantage they are getting. So, that we will see in the next class just to give the overview of this is that this is not the only architecture because this course is all about architectural design of ICs. Okay. So, what are the other architecture and how people have developed step by step. So, that we will take as an example and then uh, that we will see in the next class. So, thank you for today's class.